o'clock, the community at Garriger High School trying to cope and heal after two shocking incidents in one week. Thank you for sticking with us for the news at 6 o'clock. I'm Nick Sturdivant. Tragedy first struck on Sunday when a deadly shooting took the life of one of their own. Tonight, students and staff and neighbors came together for a balloon, balloon release honoring 14-year-old Johnny McClendon. This is video from the memorial event from earlier this afternoon. Then, just yesterday, four Garinger high, high School students were hurt in a crash. WCNC Charlotte, Jesse Pierre is live in East Charlotte where the memorial for uh, was held for McClendon and Jesse. I mean, it's just a tough day for students there. Yes, this was a very emotional vigil. You could really just see the pain in the eyes of Johnny's family, his teammates and his classmates. And tonight they remembered him for the joy he brought to their lives. For us, that will be in remembrance and we will have laughter. Um, and there will be other moments where we will have sadness because we truly miss um, our brother, our teammate, um, and he was a son to me. The Garinger High School community mourning the loss of 14-year-old Johnny McClendon, his photo front and center at Friday's vigil. The teen who had dreams of one day becoming a basketball star gone too soon. This young man was taken from this world. Let's not let his light leave this world. Sunday, McClendon was accidentally shot and killed when a friend was showing him a gun that went off. At the vigil, Mothers of Murdered Offsprings, Executive Director Lisa Crawford, locking eyes with kids in the crowd, asking them to put the guns away. It's the only way I want to see you. I do not want to see you on the picture on this table. Okay? So let's make good decisions. Let's take care of one another. Let's be positive and let's dream big. Thursday, Garinger High School students experiencing more trauma after four students were involved in a car accident not far from campus. Three were seriously hurt after the car ran off the road, flipping over several times. The school made crisis response team counselors available to students to help process these events. Jared Evans, founder of Revision Counseling and Wellness, says experiencing a tragedy can have lasting effects on kids. This can impact the, the child tremendously in terms of the child can feel depressed because of what happened to his or her friend. They can cause um, some anxiety. It can even cause some anger and some grief. He says it is important to keep an eye on your children and to look out for any changes in mood and habits. Because they may not come out and say, hey, mom, I'm feeling this way. Or, hey, dad, I'm really feeling bad. But they will communicate in their own way. And as parents, as adults, as leaders, we just have to recognize those signs and be able to create that time, create that space for them to feel comfortable in sharing. Now the basketball team has a game tonight and they said tonight they're playing for Johnny and that picture you saw in throughout the vigil that was handmade by a teacher and that was gifted to the family at the end of the vigil. The group also prayed for the four students who were hurt in the crash live in East Charlotte. Jesse Pierre WCNC Charlotte a tough time for the community there. Thank you, Jesse.